Richard P. Feynman once wrote that no problem is too small or too trivial if we can really do something about it. While he was referring to his students' PhD work, this mindset applies to everything. In this video, I will discuss a classic problem in introductory physics, but show how creativity can bypass the senseless algorithmic approaches to reveal something truly clever and beautiful. Suppose we wish to pull a box across the ground at some constant velocity using a rope. We are free to angle the rope however we want, but we are interested in finding the optimal angle needed to minimize the tension force. Typically, this problem will be solved using a free body diagram. We have the force of tension Ft, the gravitational force Mg, and the normal force N, and the friction force μn. We can break up the forces into perpendicular components and do a force balance in both directions. Horizontally, the forces add up to zero since we are moving at a constant velocity. Vertically, the forces also add up to zero. We can solve for the normal force, substitute it into the first equation, and solve for the tension Ft. To minimize this expression, we need to find the angle that maximizes the denominator, which we see as a sinusoidal function. Using calculus, we can identify the optimal angle to be theta equals arctan mu, corresponding to a maximum value of root 1 plus mu squared. Substituting this in, we get our minimum force of tension. However, there is a more elegant way to do this. We start with the same setup as before, except this time we keep the vectors the way they are. We can combine the normal force and the friction force together into a single force which we call F ground, the force from the ground. The angle this new force makes with the vertical is alpha, and we can calculate the sine of alpha using the Pythagorean theorem. And after simplifying it, we get a very familiar expression. Now we can clean up the picture a bit. We want to reduce the problem such that there are only two forces, so we want to combine the tension force and the gravitational force together. When an object experiencing only two forces is in equilibrium, these two forces must act in opposite directions. In other words, the force of tension, once added to mg, must lie on the diagonal dotted line. In order to minimize this force, we need to find the shortest length to the dotted line, which happens to be when it is perpendicular. Now to solve for Ft, we just need to perform some basic trigonometry to see that the hypotenuse of the triangle is mg, and the opposite side to alpha is Ft, so we can write Ft as mg sine of alpha, which gives us the answer we had earlier. In conclusion, we see that although these two approaches are very different, thinking outside the box can lead to more elegant solutions. I challenge you to solve other problems by grouping pairs of forces together, and a quick problem set is included in the description below.